so today i'm going to be talking about having a healthy sex life things you can do to have a sexy health a, a sexy health life <laughs> to have a healthy health <laughs> i'm going to be talking about the things you so today <laughs> hi guys welcome to my channel my name is kenna and i am your favorite cameroonian youtuber i'm based in Douala, cameroon and yeah welcome okay so today we are going to be talking about they do they do because like i said at the beginning of this year they do they do is going to be one of those topics that we're going to be talking about a lot here because our sex lives are suffering we have to make our sex lives better so today i'm going to be talking about having a healthy sex life or the things you can do to have a healthy sex life okay so like i said in a lot of relationships in a lot of marriages especially in africa in cameroon sex seems to be one of those things like one of our biggest problems we are constantly complaining a lot of men will say oh my wife does not satisfy me a lot of men will say oh my husband does not satisfy me my husband is not asking for it my husband is taking it outside like this whole sex thing is a whole lot of trouble we have so many people complaining about oh i'm not satisfied sexually i'm not this sexually sex 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 everywhere sex is causing a lot of trouble so um i just want to give you people a couple of tips to make your sex life better i always say it here i know a lot of people are always like communication don't die for on a hand but it's because communication is something that is very very important so uh the very first thing is communicate if you cannot communicate with your partner when it comes to sex there's a problem if you cannot tell them i'm not satisfied if you cannot tell them this thing makes me satisfied if you cannot tell them this is what i like this is what i don't like let's try different things my dear your sex life is going to suffer because you're just going to be getting whatever you receive and you cannot be mad at somebody if the person is not satisfying you because you haven't really told them what you want so the main thing the first thing for me i always say is communicate because i feel like with communication there's no bad sex like that's what i think i don't feel like um there are people who just know and know everything how to satisfy people like we always say there are so many things that you can do you can do this it satisfies a you do this it repel or is repulsed b so you want to have that communication you want to talk about it and for me i always say it's better for you to talk about sex before you even have it when you're dating somebody or when you before you have sex you want to talk about it these are the things that i like these are the things that I I don't like these are the things that i've tried these are the things i would like to try this is how i like it to be this is you get you want to have that communication you want to talk about it because it's difficult and maybe if you're one of those people who finds it really difficult to sit and talk about sex because i understand there's some people who finding a way to talk about sex to them it's like hell it's like i will not be able but i don't understand why you'll be shy to have to have the talk to talk about sex with your partner so if you're one of those people this child has distracted me so if you're one of those people who might be finding it really hard to just express yourself about it while in the act you can ask you you can be asking your partner do i like do you like this can we continue do what do you want me to do how do you get so that is just it the main thing it's very important to communicate because if you communicate about sex if you talk about it if you're talking oh i like this when you do this i like it oh my god no this makes me uncomfortable this hurts this is better this position makes me more comfortable and this and that and that your sex is going to be better i can tell you that 100 percent. your sex is going to be better as long as you communicate openly about it as long as you say those things that you don't like those things that you like it's going to make sex way way better try it and come and thank me okay try Try it try it okay try it and like the later. next thing for a healthy sex life is to take care of yourself see take care of yourself for one yourself and two for your partner okay you might just be feeling like oh my partner is not attracted to me anymore because i'm fat because i'm this maybe it's because you're just dirty how about clean how about clean yourself how about take a good fresh bath clean yourself um, shave your legs if you if you're into that shave your underarms wash down there properly shave it like take care of yourself be it a man or a woman because some people when they take off their clothes to do they do you can just basically throw up because they're stinky their armpits are crazy hairy and dirty it's okay you can have hair there but it should be clean your their, their armpits are dirty they're just 
oh oh my god like no 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 you want to take care of yourself take care of yourself like i said first of all for yourself and second for your partner you don't want to be making your partner to, to when you just say you want to do they do your partner just remembers oh my god the sweat the stink the hmm, and they cannot tell you because oh they don't want to hurt your feelings they don't even know how to start telling you so i feel like taking care of yourself is part of having a healthy sex life because when you first of all take care of yourself you have shaved you look fresh you look good you're like oh my god you feel good about yourself so when somebody is like oh let's do it you're feeling you're already feeling sexy you're already feeling very beautiful you are ready to do it but when you are not taking care of yourself and somebody's like let's do it you're like um oh my god um I'm, i've not shaved oh my god my pants is like this my wash your pants wash your like personal hygiene is important when it comes to sex to a healthy sex life you want to take good care of yourself nobody no man wants to want to take care take off a pants and then the pants is stinky is sweaty is stained it's ew 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 like no take care of yourself first for yourself and then for your partner because that helps it puts the person in the mood you might just be sitting and wondering but why does my man not want to have sex with me mommy it's because you're dirty uncle it's because you're stinky okay take a bath if you're one of those people who feels like you don't feel your best you don't feel fresh and beautiful you don't feel sexy when you haven't taken a bath before doing the do prepare yourself take a bath clean up feel beautiful and sexy before you do the do that is going to help your sex life that is going to give you a healthier sex life so if you're not doing that you want to consider doing it because that might just be a problem you never know i'm always like it's preferable to try everything check all the boxes like oh i've tried this one i've done this one i've done this one so i'm clean um i've covered every part if things are not working it means it's something else don't leave those little holes that you can start you start feeling like oh my god maybe so it's because of this thing or it's because of that thing maybe it's because i'm not done this or done that do everything and then you know that you have done everything that you have to do if things are not working you know that you're doing your best the next thing least. i'm going to talk about it still kind of has to do with communication is share your desires your expectations with your partner your partner if it's somebody who loves you at least is going to try to understand your expectations when it comes to sex because some of us what kills our relationships is over expectation you go into feeling like just imagine you like we know we like to blow our trumpet somebody like oh i'm good like when i do this people say this when i touch her when i touch women they come and my name is everywhere because they know me i'm the master of the do the do and things like that and then you you are going in to have one beautiful ecstasy and all that and then you go there and you're like oh my god is this all you have to offer like so now they think this <laughs> so you want to talk about what your expectations are what you desire what are your fantasies talk about things like that with your partner okay if you're one of those kinky people who have been thinking oh i like to do it in public talk about it with your partner tell him that do you think what do you think should we go and try it in the car in one broken bush do you want to like just do that because for me sex is a fun thing sex is to be enjoyed sex is how they say it how um i'm trying looking for the word sex is Oh, I cannot find like adventurous you want to be if you're an adventurous person you want to tell your partner see I like it like this like this like this just communicate your your desires your expectations with your partner so that your partner knows that okay this is the kind of person I'm with and these are probably the kind of things I'm supposed to do if I want to please them and the next thing I'm um, the next thing I'm going to talk and this is mostly to my sisters is that initiate sex if you initiate sex you will not die a lot of us are still in the olden times like oh my god I cannot ask a man for sex I cannot not only any man who your husband I cannot ask a man for sex I you want my husband to feel that I like sex too much you like sex too much so what what? So what? Yeah, I cannot ask for sex. I cannot tell my husband that I'm horny. I cannot tell so he'll be like, oh my god, you like sex too much. You are kind of horish. You are kind of Scottish kind of woman. Blah, 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 blah. Uh we will be the slot we will be the whore sex is an important part in the relationship in the marriage it is very important so you want to initiate sex there is nothing wrong if you initiate sex and your partner is not in the mood a lot of women will feel will feel really bad if we initiate sex and then our partner says oh babe i'm not in the mood right now i don't i really don't want to i'm tired or things like that we feel really bad but we are the masters we are the mistresses of constantly telling him oh i'm having a headache oh i'm tired oh i can't do this oh i can't do that 
that but when he does the same to you you're angry and he'll be all right so it's really um beautiful when a woman also initiates sex it makes the man to feel wanted men also want to feel wanted okay a man wants to also know that okay i'm not the one always asking for this thing i'm not the one who want, who always wants to have sex maybe um she's not just doing this thing with me just because oh she feels like it's her duty she's um okay yeah like she feels like it's her duty that's why she's doing it she's not doing it because she actually loves it because she actually enjoys doing it with me oh she's just doing it because like men too want to feel like you know she wants me she sits and she's thinking of she's craving me she wants me she gets horny she wants me to get down on her you get men like to feel that way they feel it makes them to feel too like okay so it's not my thing so stop that thing that you're doing there like oh no no please you wonder he should feel that i like to do it too much you wonder he should feel that i am a sex addict you wonder <laughs> when you're married you're married especially your man cannot think that even if he thinks like that so what so what you like sex at least you're asking him for it you're not going to ask someone else to come and satisfy you so you want to be more open when it comes to initiating initiating for it stop using like stop just pushing your bum like tell him i want you put him in the mood if he's like he's not in the mood put him in the mood also you should understand that the same way that sometimes you want he wants it and you don't want it it's okay to sometimes the man doesn't want it men are not dog like we actually say men do not always want to have sex there are actually times when men do not feel like having sex and if you tell him you want to do it and he he rejects you there's no need for you to start being like oh my god oh my god my um, my ego is bruised i will never try it again did you see how he rejected me you reject him all the time that is part of the relationship sometimes you want sometimes you don't want so that is it and then my last thing my last tip for a healthy sex life is going to be make a plan i'm not saying you should schedule sex tomorrow 1 p.m we are supposed to have sex no like make a plan do romantic gestures like put roses put candles put the set the mood make him a beautiful dinner keep the kids somewhere when he comes you know learn how to twerk do a lap dance like do make a plan just do spontaneous planning do spontaneous things i had this friend of mine whom she actually planned a beautiful surprise for her husband she saved up some money took him went to a hotel she had like they had a good time in a hotel a good weekend in the hotel and all that you get so be spontaneous do things do like there are so many things i'm not saying that you must carry your husband to a hotel that's what i've said you cannot maybe you're broke you don't have the money do something nice spread roses make it a warm bath <laughs> like oh my god <laughs> before he comes back from work just put in um, make the bathroom to look really sexy you push your have some time in the bathtub like those are the things those are the things that will be making him he's he's sitting and he's like oh my god oh my god that woman that woman or oh, that man that man knows how to get me in the mood just do some of those things sometimes and then also you can always text each other when you're missing each other where you're when you get horny in the day whether you're at work or you're wherever just text each other just that it makes you feel wanted be it the man or the woman so those are the things that you can try to have a sexy help uh, why do i keep saying sexy to have a healthy sex life you should try these things if you have not been doing if you have more tips you know how it goes drop your own tips in the comment section because i cannot come and be sharing all my tips with you are you guys are not sharing anything with me so drop your own tips in the comment section what do you guys think do you think that these points are doable that make sense or you feel like no 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 can i don't know what you're saying talk about sex to my husband you're joking what do you think let's have a let's have a discussion let's have a discussion in the comment section thank you guys very much for watching this video and kenna is going to see you on her next one love you guys bye